On this episode, we're going to be talking about why I like to consider the Legos of card holders. Uber stacks. Let's see how they work. So Uber stacks were on Kickstarter roughly about a year ago, and it did a pretty good job. It raised roughly about $20,000, and currently right now they seem to be sliding out of production possibly. But like I stated in the intro, I claim these as being the Legos of card holders. The reason why I called them that is because they have little edges and holes all around them, so you can basically take these and connect them in any sort of way that you want. And they're super flexible in terms of what you could do with them. You could go the traditional route and basically make something that holds the cards in your hand. You could expand to make it hold a large array of cards basically something along the lines for everyone to see. You can make a massive holder for these, almost to the point where it doesn't even make sense anymore, such as in this game, Steampunk Rally. You would never need to make one of these for Steampunk Rally. I mean, these things are so flexible, I've actually managed to make a dice tower out of these. Sweet, all sixes. Now, what do I rate these? I personally actually don't play in my house all that often, so to remember to bring these and grab my bag and drag them out of the house rarely ever happens. I almost always forget to and leave these at home. But when I am playing games at home, I've noticed I've actually been using them for a bunch of different things. For example, if I'm playing a game solo or learning the rules, I'll set up dummy characters with these and it'll just be holding my hand for all the characters. Super useful instead of putting all the cards on the table and having to keep picking them back up. I've also heard that these are great for kids because they tend to have a hard time holding cards their hands and also this is great for people that have a hard time holding cards in their hand because of some physical reason now do I think that these are for everyone I'd say I don't think so they're a great product and they're really well built but these are very situational for me personally I could maybe see busting these out maybe once every 15 to 20 games I play or something like that but if you do fit in the ballpark of any of those kind of situations I've mentioned where you're constantly teaching yourself rules and having dummy characters or playing solo games or have kids, or you have a hard time holding cards, then this is actually perfect. At the end of the day, my only real complaint to these is that there are better looking card holders than these. While these are super flexible and can basically work to any need you have, there are ones that are wooden, they're very well stained and everything, and they look really nice on the table, and they just look better, so. There you go. And hopefully you found that useful. If you're thinking about getting these, they actually kind of stopped selling these on their website recently, but they are still selling these on Amazon. But if you actually want one of these cool bags, that's right here, they actually are still selling these on their website. And actually I would recommend this bag because it's great to hold all of these in. It can hold like 24 of them or so. And this is Gary Pope from Late to the Table. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching Late to the Table. This episode is brought to you by my go-to place for upgrades and accessories for your favorite tabletop games, Top Shelf Gamer.